Hello peeps, guess what? It's another time for tea and a chat. Hello YouTubers, it's the Man Mechanic here again. Here we are now, part two of the teardrop trailer build. The woodwork, did we do it by plans or did we just make it up? Let's find out. Now we started off by building a, um, a flatbed sort of like base on top of the frame that we built in the last video. Now this was just a seven feet by four feet in old money slab of our, um, 18 mil um, marine ply. So that gives you the base of the actual trailer itself. And then we can bolt that down into the lugs that I built on the frame by using 40 mil um, coach bolts so that will hold that nice and secure then what we did after that is I then said to myself now am I going to do a plan for the actual side bits or shall I just make it up as I go along and I decided to sort of make it up as I go along so I started um, early in the morning um, and just got two pieces of 12 mil um, marine ply for the side panels and all I did then was just bolt the uh, sort of clamp them together and just made a shape that I thought that looks quite cool but I wanted it not to be too big but I didn't want it to be too small if you get my drift um, I want it to be light enough so the little 1100 could pull it but I didn't want it to be too small that you couldn't get in it because two people got to sleep in this so what I did then was just cut out the basic shape that I was looking at and then I went, oh, I'm not quite happy about that. So I trimmed it and did a bit more and then trimmed it a bit more and then did a bit more until I was happy with the shape I got. And then I slowly, slowly put the two sides together and then I screwed them to two workbenches because I was doing this on my own um, and just slowly, slowly sort of made it up as I went along. So I just put a couple of shelves in it to obviously to give it a bit more strength and, uh, um, and, and, and to make it, sort of sewn flex you know um and just sort of worked along as we want so i added like i say added two storage cupboards i wasn't going to do you know the typical teardrop trailer with the the back end that opens up and you've got all the kitchen units and stuff like that i wanted something that was just basic that we can just get in it get your head down have a kip um it gets you out of the cold i wasn't going to double skin it i wasn't going to insulate it because we're only going to use this in the summertime um, and then what I done then is I designed a, like a, 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 like a sort of like, um, sort of submarine pod on the top. I just never seen one of those on a teardrop before. And I just sort of made it up and improvised and thought, do you know what? I've seen this on a caravan before and I quite like that. And it just adds a little bit more light inside when it's all, um, clamped up and ready to go. Um, just uh, adding bits to it, get it a bit more rigid, um, stop it from flexing a little bit too much. Um, adding bits bits of wood and just really going do you know what? I quite like that let's add a little shelf in there as well they're a bit uh, the, the actual um, uh, what's them bits were a bit too far forward so I, didn't, I had to pull them back a little bit and then it made a shelf and I thought oh that's quite cool we'll make a little shelf inside made some cupboards and bits and bobs and and then really that was it this was the hardest bit was making this bit here um it looked a bit pants at the time but the more i did it the more it it, it, it was starting to look quite cool i hope you enjoy the pictures um if you like this video we've got the next one coming out which is the one to um do its first trip all right guys please subscribe please watch name i really hope you enjoyed this um just keep watching. Now, the only other thing I did is I made a right balls up on the last video. I put music to it and I couldn't get the sound down. I couldn't remove it. So it was absolutely awful and it just drove me mad. So I'm going to try and do another one of that. Now, what we also did, well, what I also did was I painted it with about four coats of British Racing Green boat paint. I tried to get as near as damn it as the, as the Austin 1100. So, and it's a little bit lighter, but it's not a major drama. So, um... Trying to just fit it out really um, with bits and bits. This is all really sort of reclaimed, recycled stuff as well. So I've tried to do it as cheap as I possibly could. Now we took, 
it on the back of the old little 1100 just to see if she'll pull it all right and she pulled it fine so absolutely no problems there at all um when we went for fish and chips in deal which was really quite a good idea actually so we sat on the seafront had some fish and chips um waiting for some other parts to come now the other parts that did come was a reclaimed ship's um port hole from an old scrap boat really and some i don't know where it come from i think it come from um, Bombay or something like that or Delhi or wherever it was so put that in the door and I think that looks quite good um, we're going to add some curtains to it uh, and some other bits and pieces but I just think it sort of added a little bit of a nautical theme um, in between I sort of suffered a bit of Covid um, and I thought Do you know what uh, when I got better again instead of getting back onto the caravan I made myself a dove coat um, for the doves we have in the back garden quite a few of them um, like I say, laying the floor, just normal floor tiles, very easy to put down, um, right size, jobs are good. And, um, and that's it really, um, all, a, all a bit good. So put a side window in it. So if you like the video, just give us a, a, a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. And uh, the next one will be the first camping, serious camping outing. Um, so... Just keep watching, um, keep in tune, and stay safe, everybody. And I'll see you very, very soon indeed. Take care, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.